hey there how are you doing this is kali from tech finds yes so in this quick video we will see how to install android 12 on ma8 2 so um we have made a video on installing android 11 uh, that went pretty good so i thought of making it uh, once again so currently it is in android 12 itself but this method uh, it will work on if you are in other custom rooms if you are coming from stock android there are some several other steps which you have to do you can watch my previous video i will leave the link in the description so what are the things you need first thing that you need is the os itself it is a hotfix blue line spb5 it's public beta 5 from alok raj it is a it is just uh, 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 made by alok raj the other thing is orange fox recovery which is uh, recommended by him and you also can use the TWRP. I have all three files. Before doing anything, it's warning you have to back up all your internal storage. Even if it is whether it is uh, encrypted or not encrypted, if anything goes wrong, you should need a backup in your PC or anywhere in your SD card if you have any. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot to recovery. If you don't have, if you don't even have the recovery, you need to install it and you need to watch another video. So yeah. First I will go to restart here. We have a normal restart. So what I need is I need to restart to the, the uh, recovery Let me check it. So here we have a normal restart. So it will just boot it once again. So I will just connect to my uh, PC and I will just uh, run uh, or else it will be easy if you just just like this yeah so now what i will do is it's already a developer preview is enabled sorry <laughs> developer option is enabled so how you need to enable everyone knows it just you need to go to uh, you need to go to a uh, boat phone and build number you need to click it seven times or something and then you will get the option in the system developer inside that you need to enable the developer option and you need to enable the deb usb debugging so i have enabled it already now what i'm going to do is i'm going to adb reboot recovery so i will use this command so that what it will do is it will just reboot to recovery you can use a combination of volume up button and the power button but that takes some time so i'm just using this method here i am the, having the orange fox recovery i am not sure whether it is included or not i will put it in the text here over so if it is not included you need to install the recovery after uh, installing the room now now what i am going to do is i am going to wipe and uh, dial big system vendor cache and data so one two three four this five things i'm going to wipe don't wipe the internal because this build is uh, not encrypted so you no need to uh, format the internal so i'm just wiping it I, uh, guys please make sure i have already backed up all the things in my pc so don't do this before doing it even if it is a encrypted or de-encrypted just keep a backup uh, just now i will just go back and i will go to the internal file now I have the blue line uh, SV5 which is the ROM itself. I will just select and I will just install it. It takes some time actually to install the uh, system files and other things. So what I'll do is I will just keep it in here. Once it is done, we will connect back. This build also comes with the uh, inbuilt uh, Google uh, services and Google Play Store and all the Google stuff. So you no need to install the G app separately. Just an as uh, for your information. So it's been a long. It's 857 here. It is showing. So uh, I have. It's now currently successfully have uh, installed it. So it has been installed it. So I will just wipe the cache. I'm not sure whether it is included with the recovery or not. So for safer side, I'm just installing the Orange Fox recovery here. Uh, it is also recommended. So yeah. You 
if you have just flashed the rom switch the slot before rebooting to rebooting repox now you need to reboot to orange box so what i will do is it is just asking me to switch the uh, slot so i will just go there and where i can settings um reboot switch slot uh, the slot a is active now so i will just uh, I'll just switch to slot B. Okay, I just switched to slot B. So now I will just system partition is empty. Okay. Okay. So now I will just reboot to recovery. It will definitely give a what boot loop or something. I will just then force close there. But here it's God's grace it is working. So now I will just reboot but here it is showing system is empty so basically this uh, what I would say uh, this uh, these port roms porting roms and all will install in same partition so I will just switch to uh, partition A itself. I don't I no need to do it if you are installing it just you can reboot it it will automatically boot so what I do is I will just reboot to recovery once again the good thing is it is just showing there that uh, the system is empty so I'm currently in uh, active uh, partition A I installed it it also installed in the same partition not in different one Usually custom ROMs do that, but this is a porting ROM. So yeah, now it is in A partition and it is, it should work. I will just, uh, where it is, system. I'll just reboot to system. It should work. I don't know. It's taking more than usual. The first boot always takes some time. So I will just keep, yeah, it just booted now. I will just keep it as it is. We'll wait. We'll just wait for some time. The time here is 1:32, so we'll see how much time it is taking to boot. Okay, it is fast. It just took uh, two minutes or something. I don't know. So we have the Pixel Experience screen. I'll just select Get Starter. I also have a SIM in here, uh, which is uh, which is a Geo. We we'll just reduce the background. So I will just set up it offline. You can set it in online too uh, to save the time. I just wanted to uh, make this video quick and crisp. So you can just turn off these things. I'm not going to use the iron pipe tool after uh, these things and all. Also the phase unlock is not there. Uh, I will just use, I uh, no need to use it, okay. Uh, just turn off all the things and I will just select here and then I will skip it. Skip. So what is the next ROM that I am going to install for a daily driver? Any guesses or what? Uh, well, uh, there is some uh, point I will just give it to you. Uh, the next ROM will be actually uh, Android 11 and it will be based on the 4.4 uh, kernel. I usually checking more often with the 4.19 uh, so I just start off uh, installing 4.4 based ROMs. Uh, the one thing that I was uh, checking is um, let me check the name. It is uh, Pixel Experience Plus, I believe. Just give me a second. Sorry, it is uh, Awaken. So next thing is I am going to uh, install Awaken Peach Android 11 based which is the final uh, build of uh, Android 11. So that I am going to try next. So this is the thing you will get it after uh, installing the 
android uh, 12 so you can uninstall this voice of all these things and all so you have the google camera go and i will just go to the setting and about phone and android 12 here we have the android 12 okay so that's what about this video installing about android 12 on uh, ma2 thank you for watching portmanteau